All right, guys, it's that season again. It is now the middle of February. It is the perfect time to start getting excited and time to start getting a jump start on spring and all the stuff that we're gonna wanna do here on the homestead this year. <laughs> Delilah, what are we gonna go do? Get chickens. What are we gonna go get? Chickens. Theo, what are we gonna go get? Chickens. Mama, what are we gonna go get? Chickens. <laughs> it's time to go get some chickens. Of course, just like all the other years, it's time to start thinking about adding more chickens to our flock once again. We have some chickens that are starting to get older, and every year we want to start replacing so that we have a lot of good egg layers that are constantly laying eggs, and ones that we're just not paying for free, to be honest with you guys. Now it's time to dig out all the old chick stuff, get it out of the shed, start to bring it back, and we are going to get prepped and ready to go so that we can start adding baby chicks once again here to the homestead, and it is always an exciting time for the kids. And honestly, it's probably a really exciting time the most for me. I enjoy this time the most. Alright, it's time to put the chicks in their new home. So it is official. Chick season has just begun. Spring is about to start. So, we need the new chicks. We only got six of them this time around. And there's four different breeds out of the six of them. These two right here are both Amber Lynx, which are new to us. We've never had this breed before. They look like they're gonna be like a really nice color, which we're excited about. And I think right now, we're gonna call them them because we don't know how much of a difference they're gonna have like when they get older. But they're gonna be called Butter. This guy right here, well hopefully girl, is gonna be an Americana. We have about three or four Americanas right now. We like the Americanas because they'll lay us like the light kind of blue green egg. We're excited. We don't have a name for this one yet, so if you guys have any names, here, take a good look. Comment the names below for this guy. Alright, these guys look just like the Americanas, but these are different. These two both right here are Golden Lace Wine Dots. We are very excited about these. I really like how they look when they get older. This breed is another new one to us. We've never had them before. Like again, if you guys have good chicken names, comment them for us. And right here, this one is a black Osterlope. We've never had this one. I really like the colors I'm already seeing on the wing right here. And it has like a yellowish belly at the moment and then just really, just kind of like a really dark black color, which is really nice. So three new complete chicken breeds that we're gonna be adding to our small farm, which we're really excited about. Hi. How are you? I got to show you guys them with no poop on my hands. That's a win. So a quick rundown on our brooder setup. I know that everyone's always interested on in how we do it. We do pine shavings just for the bedding. We do have them in a galvanized tub which we feel like has always worked out really nice because it's really easy to clean. Also, we have a heat plate. We don't use heat lamps. They work out a lot better for us. And if you sit them straight up like how we have right now, it gives the chicks more room to be in there, which we like. And it seems to work out really well. We've never had a problem using it. Both our water and our feeder are both just your basic kind of two ones that you would find in any kind of farm store. Nothing crazy about those two things. But our feed that we get is from, I think they're pronounced Calmback. And it is called Chick House Reserve. And this feed we absolutely love because you can see the real pieces of food that are actually in it. And it just seems to be a high quality feed. It's not organic feed. It is a little pricey, but not as expensive as organic feed is. So if you're going to get organic feed, you can choose between either getting that or maybe getting something that just looks like nicer feed like this one is. All right, we're going to let these guys relax be for a little bit. And I'll explain why we needed to go out and go get some more chicks. So the baby chicks are here, and I know what you guys are wondering. We already have eight chickens right here on this flock. I believe we have eight, 15, 17, 17 chickens over here in this flock. So 25 chickens, why do we need to add any more chickens? What's going on? And this is the replacement chickens. And what I mean by that is our very first flock of 10 chickens, we got nine hens, one rooster. We don't have that rooster anymore. He was pretty aggressive, so had to get rid of him. 
But we had nine hens and they are all still here. We have not lost any of them, whether it was to predators or just, just getting rid of them or anything like that. And that was a while ago now. It seems like just yesterday we were bringing our very first chicks ever to our property. But it's been a while now and they are getting really close to where they're gonna be three years old and if you look up a chicken, they're gonna start laying about half the amount of eggs they used to lay when they hit about three years old. And we just don't want chickens that really aren't gonna lay many eggs. This is gonna be the replacement batch. So when we go to get rid of our original nine, we're actually gonna keep two of them because they're our daughter's favorites. Those are the buff Orpingtons that we have, which is good because one of them likes to try to go broody and we wanna be able to hatch out chickens that way too sometimes. When we have the animals here on our homestead, we do have them for a purpose, and we wanna make sure that they are doing the purpose that we need them for. So it is gonna be a little bit of a change to see some new chickens, and we are excited to have them. All right, guys, we may have just brought home those chicks, but right now, we actually have a broody hen. She's not in here because she just went to go eat real quick, but she's been sitting in here for the past few days. Right now, there's only four eggs in there, but what I wanna do is I wanna mark each egg so that we know what date this egg was starting to be sat on so we can kind of expect when they're going to be hatched and also when they lay more eggs inside this nesting box we can kind of control how many she's sitting on because we probably don't want her to sit on more than 10. So let's mark this egg and then we'll see if we have some chicks here in about 21 days. This is exciting because we've never had a chick actually hatch out eggs. Here we go. We would be very excited if one of these Splash Moran hens actually hatched out some baby chicks because right now we have only six hens and two roosters in this flock. This flock, we wanna make it where we can actually send hatching eggs out to other people. So we would like to at least have four more hens, maybe five more hens for this flock, so that we could have about 10 to 11 hens with two roosters. So we're excited to start the broody hen experiment once again, this time with our Splash Morans for the first time. One thing that drives me a little nuts about baby chicks is them putting the shavings in their food and their water and you having to constantly change it out. So just building them a little platform to put those on will help avoid not getting so many shavings in them. I did it last year, but I can't find where that platform is, so I'm gonna build another one and I'll show you guys what I mean. It really doesn't take much effort. As simple as this, this will prop it right up and I'll show you guys what I mean. Let's go put it in with the chicks. So now taking out that and putting it on this platform, now you can see how they would really have to start really kicking up these shavings, which they will do the older they get. But the older they get, the higher you can put this platform. Right now, since they're only about two to three days old, there's no need for us to need to make it really high. They can still reach it. They're drinking water right now actually as we speak. And they could still walk on it if they need to in between these two things because there is cloth wiring on there, but it's really fine. And we feel like when we've done this, it at least makes it where the water doesn't get ruined here in the first day. It takes a couple days before the shavings really build up inside this. So not only are chicks here, but we also have our first seed starts going. That means that we're gonna need a greenhouse to get going soon because it is the middle of February and we are starting these early for Michigan growing season. But right now, I have a little bit of time before we worry about that. We do have this shelving unit ready to go too. This is where we will hook up the grow lights so that once they start germinating and we need them to grow bigger, this is where we're gonna be putting them all on. And it is spring right around the corner and we are gonna get all of our things ready to go. Time to feed the garbage disposals. I'm still surprised right now that not only do we have new chicks that we just got, but to have a broody mama in here sitting on some eggs. I really hope that she hatches those eggs out. We've been waiting for a chicken to go broody to the point that she hatches out her own eggs. We just haven't got to experience it and it would be so cool that if this is finally the year for us. One of the best things about having her hatch out her own eggs would be if we don't have to set up a brooder like we do right now and she could just raise the baby chicks outside here and keep them warm. And it'll be middle of March, it'll be Michigan, it's a little chilly, but the chicks should be fine if they have her with her. Oh, it's a good egg day, guys. These chickens think spring's right around the corner too. Mm. 
All right, that's four eggs right there. Unfortunately for us right now, though, we do have a nest that's been going under the coop. All right, and there was five of them under the coop, so. So nine eggs, and I think we have, what is it, 15, 15 lane hens? Nine eggs in the middle of February in Michigan. That's a win. No eggs in there, I figured I would check real quick. Seeing new chickens here on our homestead and seeing our seed starts going is getting me super spring fever. I wanna see this garden right here that I'm talking in right now, just full of plants. And I know that that is gonna be months away here in the middle of February in Michigan. With all this going on, it's making me feel like at least we're getting closer to doing it. We don't have to just talk about the plans anymore and just be like, well, we need to do this. Like, we still have to do that. But right now we have action going on. A broody hen, we have baby chicks and a brooder. Seeds going. And there is much more right around the corner. And you guys are gonna be seeing a lot happening. I'm telling you, we have big plans coming. We have garden beds still to build. We have a shed to make for future animals that are coming here. You got a hat on? Can I see your hat? Come here. Yeah. You got your hat? And you got your pajamas and boots. Yeah. So the kids are getting super excited for the weather turning nicer and we are just ready to go. So if you're watching this video right now, live for the first time it coming out, the very next video that we'll be posting next week is kind of going to be like our journey into homesteading all the way from the beginning to where we are right now and as the journey and the adventure keeps going. We are super excited to kind of premiere this for you guys and I hope that you're going to enjoy it. It kind of gives you a little bit of backstage things that you may not have known about us and things that we did and decisions we made and why we did them. I hope you guys really enjoy it. Have a great day and a better tomorrow and let's get spring going. I made a Tell me your story